here. Yes! Yeah, I got the new super looper. And the looping will be super duper. Before I get too excited, it's time to unbox it. It came in the mail today. Everybody say hey. It's my newest loop of friend on unboxing day. Yeah, it came in the mail, so let's say hello. We got a lot of new features and a button that glows. It's the newest slipper out there, spreading her stuff. Nine foot switches, God, I hope it's enough. Let's take a real look. No, it's not clickbait. We've got a Boss RC 600, and today's gonna be our awkward first day. Awkward first day. Let's take it out and play. Uncover the tricks. Let's look, see if we can make some music with it. Music. Let's take it out and play. Uncover the tricks. Uncover the tricks. Yeah. Let's look, see if we can make some music with it. A little map of it on the front. Manual, very important, very important. One layer at a time. What do you think, Cleo? Oh, it's teeny. Ta-da! Oh my God, fun! This thing in the middle is not a button. It's just a, it's just a big light. The knobs feel so nice. Ooh, it's got really sturdy rubber feet on the bottom here. The power comes in in this two-part system with a. Oh, you know what? This is the exact same power supply as my Roland keyboard. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's a novel. Maybe it's because it comes in all the languages. The PDF of this manual can be found online. Brrr. Let's plug it in. Just trying to get some work done. Uh, has anyone seen my cat? <laughs> Let's take it out and play. Uncover the tricks. Let's look Just like my little mock-up one here. Let's take it out and play. Uncover the tricks. Uncover the tricks. Let's look see if we can make some music with it. All right, I think we're ready to turn them on. Ooh, pretty. Look at it blinking. So here we got the output level knob, the tempo indicator, all of these menu buttons. So there's a menu button that gives you access to the overall system settings and USB MIDI. The loop button, settings related to the loop playback recording and so on. Input effects, track effect settings, rhythm settings, and the memory name. A rhythm button here. Each time you press the button, the rhythm switches on and off. Oh, and then a tap tempo button. This is similar, the RC300 had this one as well. And here's the controls where it looks like you can write and save what you've looped. Your exit button, your toggle. The fancy new loop indicator. Here's our track select button. One, two, three, or four. So the track selector is gonna let us know with this light which grouping we're on. Undo, redo, that's interesting. Press the switch during playback or overdubbing to cancel the recording or the last overdubbing. Press the switch once again to cancel the undo. So this was the feature on the RC300. By holding down the play button, it would delete just your most recently looped recording, and then holding it down again would bring it back to life. Looks like on this pedal, they've got a designated button for that. And we knew the all start, all stop button would be in the top right hand corner this time. The pedal is so much smaller, the top right hand corner isn't that far away. 
Record, play, and stop, just like on the RC300. Ooh, look at all the inputs and outputs. We knew it was gonna have two XLR inputs. That's so cool. Left and right, we got one stereo instrument, two stereo instruments, main output, a sub output, and a second sub output. Here's your MIDI and USB. Got a lot more options and a lot more computer and a lot more digital stuff. I have been hearing some reviews online actually comparing it more to the Headrush Looper because it has so many new features and better technology and better effects. There's a lot of effects. Vocal effects, routing options, input output levels. I am still playing and experimenting with it. What I really like on the digital display is it shows visually the loops and loops of different, different speeds. Meeting, uh, it's hard to do it. Loops of different speeds meeting up at the bottom. So visually, it's super easy to not lose your place. The first thing I noticed when I started building my loops is I did not have to preset any amount of time on the track. Disclaimer, I think all of these things are customizable. On the RC300, I would designate how much time I wanted on each of these three tracks. And on the new 600, it automatically does that for you. I didn't have to pre-program any length of time in particular. Now I think you can pre-program, but you don't have to, which makes it very versatile for a live gig. The machine can do that for you. So if you loop two bars on track one, you can loop 16 bars on track three and loop eight bars on track Six. And if you're hitting the record button right on beat one, they're all gonna synchronize right to the same beat one. It does have six tracks now. Now when I'm building my loops, I try not to take too much time to build them. I had developed such a system for the 300. I don't know how I'm gonna use all these tracks. You can customize each of the switches. You can have them do what the pedal says. You can make up your own. You can sync them to the MIDI. But it would be nice to be able to hit this effects button and have the function of them change mess with your effects, switch it back to the looping function, and then sing your song. I'll tell you what, I got a lot of playing and experimenting ahead of me. So please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned to how I figure out how to use this thing. Put your song requests, questions, and comments down below in the comments. I might take it for a test drive tomorrow on my Twitch channel. I stream live on Twitch Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. If you wanna come check it out. Ask me questions in real time. Stay tuned for more content on this pedal and all things looping. I'm Emily McVicker. You're awesome. See you next time. Awkward first date. Let's take it out and play. Uncover the tricks. Let's look, see if we can make some music with it. Let's take it out and play. Uncover the tricks. Uncover the tricks. Let's look, see if we can make some music.